Hey everybody, welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music. And today's cigar for review is the Blackwork Studio Boondock Saint. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> so off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting a significant amount of barnyard, hay, and prune. And as you can see, this band is very detailed. It goes around the entire thing, the design, basically which makes it very difficult to get into a single shot, but it is a really cool band. I really like the artwork on this. Okay, so right from the beginning of the cigar, for one, the draw and smoke output, uh, impeccable, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's pretty good to start out with. Anyway, flavor-wise, there's really just this earthiness and there's almost this charriness to the flavor. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just kind of a, a charred earth flavor is what I'm getting right now. Now in the retrohale, there's a little bit of earth and there's some spice in the retrohale. I can just feel a little bit of that spice um, in my nose. So that's, that's on the retrohale. And then on the finish, and on the finish, there is some earthiness and there's also an ample, an ample supply of spiciness. So that spiciness, I would say, is on top of my, the, the roof of my mouth. <laughs> and um, I can also, yeah, yeah, I can feel a little bit on my tongue as well. So yeah, there's some spice there as well. Okay, good. This cigar, I, I would say this cigar is starting out pretty good, to be honest with you. And like I said before, I really like that band. Uh, it's just really cool. Uh, one of my favorite movies ever is The Boondock Saints. I don't know if you've seen that. Uh, the, 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 now, the only thing I will say in that movie is... I think it was a little unbelievable um, when the guy picks up the toilet and he throws it out the window. To me, it seemed like he had really um, somehow summoned the force from Star Wars to do that. And I don't know that I liked the crossover in Boondock Saints with Star Wars there at that point. <laughs> so that's just what I got. That's what I understood it to be was the force. And I don't know that the force <laughs> is realistic in the real world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are well into the first third here, okay? And what I will see on the flavors is there's an earthiness and a fruity component in there, okay? And the smoke is really, really creamy. Very creamy smoke. Great smoke output, great draw still. On the retrohale, just a little bit of earth, and the retrohale is actually very smooth. Very smooth retrohale. On the finish, now here we come to the finish, and there's some of that earthiness in there. There is just a very slight hint, just a scotch, if you will, of spice. And then that finish is really creamy too. I mean, it is super creamy, very creamy. The burn line on this cigar has been excellent. No burn touch-ups whatsoever. Beautiful burn, beautiful band. That's what I like to say. So I would like to take a moment just to thank our sponsor, 58ring.com. If you're looking for a killer wooden ashtray, check them out. 58ring.com, your cigar experience enhanced. Did you get it? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are in the second third. And I gotta say right off the bat, the burn line on this cigar has been really good. It's almost like Superman is shooting it with his laser beams out of his eyes, which is really cool. <laughs> super cool, actually. Superman, super cool. That's, that's cool. <laughs> super cool. Okay, anyway, um, I thought I was gonna have a burn issue just a couple times, very minor, but I did the smoke roll, trademark. <laughs> I did the smoke roll and it fixed itself. So no problems there, I'm not gonna complain about it because it did really good, okay? Speaking about Superman, um, I plan on at some point breaking down uh, some of my favorite superheroes and I'm not gonna give it away, but my favorite superhero of all time is pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> Flavor-wise, there is this nice earthy component in there. There's this tobacco, a little bit of butteriness in there. So just a little bit of butter. And then as you're blowing all the smoke out, there's this nice lingering fruitiness. So that's been pretty enjoyable. On the retrohale, just this nice smooth earth. And then on the finish, there is, it's a leathery finish and it's still really, really creamy. In fact, on the draw, it's really creamy too. This smoke is just really creamy. 
And that finish, I would say, is pretty quick, pretty short, however you want to say that, whatever nomenclature <laughs> you prefer, um, but it's not there very long, okay? And then it just kind of leaves your mouth with this nice creaminess and just a little bit of spice. I had lost some of the spice, but now that spice is really coming back. Not super strong, but it's much more present there now, okay? And the draw and smoke output, excellent. Excellent draw, excellent smoke output, really good. Now, the only thing I would say about this cigar is I was kind of hoping it would open up just a little bit more. Um, you know, I don't expect it to be like the opening scene of uh, X-Men 2 with Nightcrawler. I mean, still possibly one of the best opening scenes ever in a movie. I mean, <clears throat> Nightcrawler, he's like flying all around and he's whipping his tail. It is super cool. If you haven't seen it yet, you gotta go check it out. It's probably one of the best, and even if you're saying you haven't seen it yet, it's kind of unbelievable. Just like when I talk to people and they're like, I haven't read or seen any of the Harry Potter series. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> welcome to planet Earth. Knock, knock, <laughs> welcome to planet Earth. Hello, is anybody home? <laughs> Okay, we are finishing out the cigar here. And first things first, I wanna give a quick shout out to Mr. Jason Baker. Now, he's not the uh, NFL kicker, but still a superhero in his own right. <laughs> he requested this guy do the review. So, now flavor-wise, in the final third here, a little bit of toastiness, some sugary sweetness, and some butter from time to time. The toastiness is what really um, took over the majority of the final third here, okay? As far as the retrohale goes, a little bit of fruitiness, earth, and leather. And that leather has not been harsh, okay? And then on the finish, the finish, there has been this leather still, and it's still creamy, super creamy. The smoke has been really creamy. My mouth the whole time pretty much has had this nice creamy coating to it. Really good there, okay? So, rating this cigar. This cigar kind of reminds me of Hawkeye, okay, in the Avengers. Like, he might not be your favorite, but he still definitely serves a purpose, okay? And he definitely fits within the whole realm of the Avenger squad, okay? And I've gotta say that it was very heroic what he tried to do with Black Widow. In fact, I still get a little emotional sometimes. So if we can just cut the camera for a second, it'd be great. Okay, so coming back. I'm back and I'm ready. I'm ready, so rating this cigar. This cigar, while it didn't hit all the flavor profiles that I really, really enjoy, I still think this cigar was a very decent cigar and it kept me interested enough to want to try it again. So I would give this cigar a three. Um, yeah. The draw and the smoke output were excellent throughout. I did have two minor burn touch-ups right in the final third here. Not a big deal. I'm not going to go a Hulk smash on it. <laughs> I would do that. Smoke time for this cigar came out to one hour and 51 minutes. As always guys, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other reviews, other videos, please make sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support, super awesome. Any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. We will get to them as soon as they come along. Well, maybe not as soon as they come along. I mean, we might be doing something else, but we will get to them, I promise. Anyway guys, until next time, be cool to each other. Don't forget to friggin' laugh, puff, and rock. <laughs> yeah, rock on. And I'll see you soon. Dead light from the